This is Ranking the Kiss Albums. 24 albums, only studio albums. I'm not doing the live albums, nor am I doing greatest hits or any compilations like that. So let me start at number 24. Here it goes. Okay, Peter Chris releases solo album in 1978 along with three other members of KISS on the same day but this album was like a departure from the KISS sound it was like an R&B uh, soft rock kind of thing so it didn't really work um, me I didn't get it but uh, I guess if people like that style of music they might have liked it but this is why I put it at the bottom Number 23, Hot in the Shade. This one came out in 1989. Um, I liked it when it came out. You know, I, I was into that, like, hair metal style, uh, hard rock. Uh, has some good songs. Uh, Hide Your Heart has a ballad forever, but other than that, nothing really uh, stood out. And now, not really, not really a great album to listen to. So this is ranked dead, number 23. Number 22, Crazy Nights. Again, this is a, like a hair metal album. Has a lot of synthesizer, like 80s rock. Uh, had a couple good songs. Uh, Crazy Crazy Nights, first song was pretty good. Reason to Live, it's a good ballad. Turn on the Night, that's another good one. Another one called No No No, it's kind of like a Van Halen sound to it, but the rest is kind of just filler. So that one I have at number 22. Okay, number 21, Animalize, uh, came out in 1984, and this one had a lead guitarist, Mark St. John, but unfortunately he had to leave because he came down with arthritis. Um, not a bad album, it's like a hard rock album, kind of like hair metal-ish, um, and a couple of good songs on it, uh, Heaven's on Fire, the most notable song, Thrills in the Night, um, and this one I have at uh, number 21. Okay, Kiss Asylum 1985. This is the first album with Bruce Kulik. And the most popular song is Tears Are Falling. Has a couple other good songs, uh, All Night. Uh, Who Wants to Be Lonely is a pretty good song. It's a good uh, hard rock record, uh, hair metal. And it came out in 1985. And I have this ranked at number 20. Okay, number 19, Sonic Boom. This was a, a comeback album of sorts. Um, the first album in 11 years. And featured Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley and Tommy Thayer, Eric Singer. Um, good album, kind of throwback to their old 70s style a little bit. Uh, they have the lead single, Modern Day Delia. Other songs are Say Yeah, Never Enough. Um, again, not a great album, but it's a good listen. So I have it ranked at here, number 19. Okay, the next album is Revenge. Came out in 1992. Um, more of a heavier album. The opening track is Unholy. Starts with a pretty cool like metal riff. And the rest of the album is kind of like a little harder, not exactly metal, but it's like a hard rock metal album. Uh, let's see some of the other notable songs. Um, God gave rock and roll to you. I think that was from a Bill and Ted movie. Uh, Every time I look at you, that was more like a, a ballad. And I just wanna Car Jam 1981, featuring Eric Carr. So again, not a bad album. I have it ranked number 18. Number 17, Lick It Up. Uh, this one came out in 1983. Um, this was a big album for them because they, they went on MTV and it was the first time they took off their makeup. So this is the beginning of their like non-makeup uh, phase of their albums. Kind of like a hard rock, kind of glam metal. I guess this album is a little uh, 
harder than the other others that would come after it. Um, Lick It Up, the title track, the main song, All Hell's Breaking Loose are some good tracks. Exciter, um, what else? Million to One. So again, not a bad album. Okay, number 16. Uh, this is Monster. Um, this is the last studio album they recorded. came out in 2012, so it's eight years old. Um, who knows if they'll ever release another studio album, but this is the last one. Good album, throwback to the 70s style. Um, it has a really good sound to it. Uh, most of the songs are good, so I ranked this higher than Sonic Boom, for example. Um, so the songs Hell or Hallelujah, I don't know why they always have the word hell in their titles. Uh, Long Way Down, um, All for the Love of Rock and Roll. That's another one. They're always like, everything's rock and roll. But anyway, cool album. Um, again, hard, hard rock album. So this one's worth checking out. Okay, number 15, Psycho Circus. Um, this is kind of like their reunion album. It has all the four original members. First one since 1979's Dynasty. Um, again, good album. The title track, Psycho Circus, really good track. Other notable tracks, We Are One, I Finally Found My Way, You Wanted the Best. Again, this is a good throwback to their old 70s sound. Um, not a bad album. I mean, it doesn't stand up to their original albums they released in the 70s and early 80s. But it's, um, again, not a bad, worth checking out. So um, I'm going to stop here. This is going to be my first video. I'm going to do a part two afterwards, which will be ranking 14 up to number one. So stay tuned for that.